Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. These are groceries for the week of March 7th through the 13th. I am doing them two days early y'all. Danya has a surgery tomorrow so I won't be here tomorrow for the most part but Tuesday you know I'm going to be taking care of her making sure she's okay and all the things making sure she's recovering okay. It is a dental surgery y'all but they're looking at cutting out two teeth. So with that being said another $50 order for this coming week and this is going to be for the 7th through the 13th i am going to be doing a no spin the following week so you will not get a grocery haul on week number three because we're just going to eat what's in the house we may not be doing another grocery haul for the rest of this month either we just have so much in the house so I have a couple of preps in here as well but we're going to run it all together the reason for that is there are not many preps so i didn't think i needed to do an entire video on just a few items and actually my daughter's going to try I should say my kids are going to try a couple of items if they like it we'll start putting it into rotation I don't want to buy too much before I know whether they like it or not bag of ruffled chips great value over here we'll talk about this real quick y'all I know you guys like Chick-fil-a but when I see what the price of those sandwiches cost I am just like okay that's not good so our local Walmart has raised the price of their chick patties, their frozen chick patties, the great value. It's gone from $4.35 to just under eight bucks. And I'm going, are you serious? <laughs> like, really? I'm not paying $8 for a pack of chicken patties. It's not happening. But the banquet chicken patties back here were $4.35. They're the same size, the same weight, as the great value ones so that's what we're going with y'all my kids have had these before they can't tell the difference between these the Tyson ones or the great value ones so y'all save you some money and get you some chick patties put it on a bun you can add mayo and lettuce and have yourself a McChicken so much cheaper McChickens right now are two dollars a piece two dollars and nine cents at my local McDonald's and that is absolutely ridiculous you got eight buns. This has about 10 patties in there. This is $1.38 for eight buns, $4.35 for the patties. So if you don't want to do that, and I know you guys like your Chick-fil-A, here's our Chick-fil-A sauce, y'all. So we just started buying this Chick-fil-A sauce because my kids loved the Chick-fil-A sandwiches at the school function we did this last week, but I don't like the price of Chick-fil-A sandwiches. So we've got the sauce. So they can take their chick patty, pop it on their bun, Add their Chick-fil-A sauce if they want lettuce and tomato. Anything else, you can put cheese, whatever on it. Make it at home. So there's two more meals for you. A McChicken sandwich or a Chick-fil-A sandwich. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Anyways, we got 10 more tomatoes. I use this for my homemade salsa. I also put it in my wraps and my black bean tacos that I do for myself. Most of my kids in the house do not like tomatoes. I have no problem with that because that means more for me. This is something we are going to try if it works out. This is going to go into our prep rotation as well. You all know I've got a million spices and seasonings. <laughs> like literally I've got way too many to even count. This is the jerk seasoning. We are not buying chicken boneless or chicken wings anymore when it comes to the chicken wings. The boneless ones or the regular ones with wings in it. Y'all, it's just costing too much. I am not paying $4.50 a pound for bone-in chicken wings. It's not happening. We have boneless chicken breast here. I can cube it up. I can roll it in a seasoning. I can bake it. I can air fry it. I can deep fry it. I am not paying the price for boneless chicken wings. And I'm surely not paying the price for the boned in ones at the price they're at now. So my kids are going to try this if they like it. Awesome. Also, no, you can put this on any kind of chicken. You can do chicken legs with this seasoning. You can do chicken thighs with this seasoning. Get creative. So I thought we'd try that. We've got two English cucumbers. We have a pack of colored bell peppers. I will be pulling the seeds out of these bell peppers. I will dry them out, and then I'm going to start getting them ready to go into containers. Because we're going to do green peppers this year. Or we're going to do multicolored peppers, I should say, as well. So we have that. We have three of the Taco Bell fire sauces. Y'all know I'm keeping my eye out for the Taco Bell fire sauce. It's hard to keep that in our local Walmart. So when I find it, I get it. Danya has a habit of not sharing that sauce so i am going to put those up they will not go down to our preps they're actually going to go in my room where i have a prepper stash as well for things that i don't want my kids getting into because they'll eat it all up and there'll be none left and they won't let me know so we got three fire sauces this time 
All right, over here, I have three different creamers. I have two of the vanilla, no sugar added creamer, and one of the peppermint mocha creamer. You all know peppermint mocha is my favorite. I do have peppermint extract that I'm gonna try to put in this vanilla creamer and see if I can make it come out a little bit better, like a peppermint taste. It doesn't have to be a peppermint mocha taste. It just gotta have a hint of peppermint to it. Peppermint's one of my favorite, favorite things. All right, down here for me, because I ran out, yes, I have potatoes in stock and I can do this myself, but I'm gonna be lazy this week coming up. I got a lot of things going on. Um, I just bought the peppers because I was out of peppers. I have a ton of onions in stock downstairs in my freezer because I peel and chop them up myself and then flash freeze them and put them in Ziploc bags and stick them back in the freezer. But I'm gonna be lazy this week and do that. All right, over here, two heads of lettuce that we get. Awesome. Another thing that we're gonna be putting in our preps, if Jessica likes this, is the great value version of the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is also going up. This was $1.49 at our local store. If she likes it, great. I'll switch to this brand. Casey Masterpiece is going up a little bit too much for my liking. And then, last but never least, is half and half creamer. I need that for a few recipes this week. So, that was just under, I think, I want to say $4 for that. So, y'all, it's not very much for $50 bucks here. You don't even really see meat. The only meat that you saw was the chip patties. And, whew, that's all. So, anyways, $50 now. I'll be taking $150 and sticking it into my... 12 month ahead emergency fund binder. We are working on month number two. We need $3,300 a month in order to make that happen each month. Once that fills up and is full, then I'll rotate to month number three. Questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, throw them at me down in the comment section down below. Again, this is for second week of March. We're doing it early today because Danya has her surgery tomorrow. So catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.